In this screencast, we're going to show how to install Amazon's Kindle Gen program. First of all, we open a web browser. In this case, we'll open Firefox by clicking on the Firefox icon in the taskbar. Now, I'm going to close that again. If for any reason you didn't have the icon on the taskbar, for example, if you had right-clicked on it, and unpinned it from the taskbar, then you wouldn't have it on the taskbar. So how would you find it? You'd click, left click, on the start button. In this search box, you would type, you'd start typing Firefox. You wouldn't have to get very far. I just typed FI. Didn't even have to type fire. And up it came. But let's type fire. All right. Uh, the more you type, the more it will narrow down what's shown in the search box. Let's type all of it, Firefox. Okay, here we go. If we didn't have the, the icon on the taskbar, or the, in this case the quick launch bar, we'd, we'd find it here and we'd click on it. And this would start the web browser. To install Kindle Gen, we have to find it on Amazon's site somehow. Now, the, there are various ways to find that. If you already have a link to it, you could just type that link here into the address bar. But let's suppose you don't have the link. You're just going to have to search for it. We'll type, and I know it's going to be in kdp.amazon.com. So I'll type that much of it. kdp.amazon.com. Dot com. Enter. Now we're on the Amazon site. All I did there, I made the screen, the uh, the window go to full screen. Uh, to make it, to get rid of that, to make it smaller, I can just click here on the title bar and drag it down a little. Now it's not quite full screen. Okay. <clears throat> Well, where is Kindle Gen? We have to find it. How would you do that? Well, I say if you already had a link, sure, that would take care of it. Otherwise, we're going to look for some sort of a help button. Getting started in facts. All right, that should do it. Check out our quick guide and get started publishing on Amazon Kindle. That looks promising. Let's click on it and see what happens. Okay, welcome to Kindle Direct Publishing. We're, we're looking for the program Kindle Gen. I don't see it here, but here is a search box. So we'll type Kindle Gen K-I-N-D-L-E-G-E-N into the search box and we'll click on the search button. Aha! This looks very encouraging. Tools and resources. Kindle Gen 2.5 is a command line tool, etc., etc. Alright, this is just what we want. So we will click on Tools and Resources. Aha! We found it. KDP Tools and Resources, Kindle Gen 2.5. We also have some other programs that you could download and install. It, they're just as easy to install. Uh, I, so I suggest installing Kindle Gen Previewer also, but we're not going to do that here. We're going to install Kindle Gen version 2.5. Actually, you take whichever one was the newest that you found here for your operating system. On th this demo is being done on Windows 7. But here would be the very same download if you were using Windows Vista or Windows XP. So let's we'll click on that first download button. If you were on a Mac or a Linux machine, you'd click one of these other buttons. So we'll click this first button with the left mouse button. You've chosen to open this file, which is a zip file. 
What should Firefox do with this file? What we're going to have Firefox do is save it. We're going to save the file. We'll click OK. And we have to choose where we're going to save it to. I'm going to save it to the downloads directory. It really doesn't matter which directory you pick, although you might make a note of where you put it. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave the name just the same. All I do is click Save. It's downloading it. It's downloading version 2.5. It's in the download window. Now we have several choices. We could find this file in Windows Explorer, the file browser. We know we put it in the downloads directory under my home directory. However, we also have a link to that file right here in Firefox's downloads window. This is why I like to configure Firefox so it does not close the downloads window after downloading. By leaving this window up, it's easy to find the file we just downloaded. So here it is. This is a zip file. We're going to double click on this. This opens, Kindle, opens that zip file in uh, a, a file browser, in the Windows Explorer file browser. Now, it, it has unzipped it temporarily for us and shows us the contents of the zip file. The file we're particularly interested in is the one named kindlegen.exe. Now remember from a previous screencast, we set our file browser to show the file extension. If we hadn't, this might just say kindlegen. It might not say kindlegen.exe. It would still show the type as application. That's the file we want. Now we want to put that file, we want to copy it to a particular place. So what I'm going to do is to open another copy of the file browser. I'm going to move this over to the left a little bit and make it a little smaller to give me some room on this side of the screen. I'm going to, to right click on local disk C and say open in new window. That's the easiest way to get a second copy of the file browser. Did it not? Oh, did I say right click on it? I'm going to left click on open in new window. So this opened the new copy of Windows Explorer and I want it over on the right. So I grab the title bar with the left mouse button and I drag it to the right. Just because in English we read from left to right, I like to have the file I'm copying from on the left side and the place I'm copying it to on the right side. So we have the file we're going to copy right here, kindlegen.exe. On this side we have to find where we're going to put it. Now where we're going to put it is in the Python 32 directory. Remember it's under your computer, under local disk C, in the Python 32 directory. I'm going to expand the local disk C so I can select that directory over here. I left click on Python 32. It shows the contents of it. Even though this is for Python, it's going to be very convenient later for something we're going to do to have Kindle Gen in this directory. So the goal is to copy this file, kindlegen.exe, into this Python 32 directory. The way to do that is to right click on this file with the right mouse button while you continue to hold that right mouse button down. Drag the file over to this window. Now let go of the right mouse button and you get a little pop-up menu that gives me a choice of either moving the file or copying it. All I want to do is copy it, so I click the copy.
Now Windows is copying it, and sure enough, the same file name appears here in the Python 32 directory. And that's, that takes care of installing Kindle Gen. That's all we needed to do. We could have opened up that zip file and saved it permanently, but we don't care. All we needed out of it was this file. Now, while you have it open, feel free to read any of these other files if you'd like to. But I'm going to close that file browser. We've got it where we want it. I'm going to close that file browser. I'm going to close the Downloads button. And I'm through with the Firefox web browser, so I'll close it too. It warns me that I have more than one tab open and asks me whether I want to continue or cancel. Yes, I'm through with it, so I'll close tabs. Okay, that concludes installing Kindle Gen.